What's the nature of leaching? Grape Kool-Aid was poured through these different soil materials with a hypothesis of what color comes out the bottom. We also made hypotheses relative to uh, how fast the water would flow through the soil. The gravel won that battle far and away with the fastest rate of water flow or hydraulic conductivity. The compost did really well on that as well. It has a lot of porosity or air spaces that water can move through. The other soil materials, this is a very high organic matter rich uh, loam soil from Minnesota. Notice how dark it is, almost black. It's even darker uh, than the compost. And then this is silica flour. That's ground sand. Of course then we had our gravel and then we have a loam soil that's got a medium amount of organic matter in it. All those soils that were finer in texture or smaller particle sizes with smaller pores had slower water movement. Now, as for the hypothesis of leaching and how it works, when you added grape Kool-Aid, which is what we did, to gravel, it went in purple and it came out essentially purple. When you added it to the silica flower, went in purple and came out essentially purple. However, when we added it to our loam soil that has mostly clay minerals in it, not very much organic matter, it came out not purple but sort of pink. If we added it to uh, our organic soil or the compost, it didn't come out either purple or pink but almost kind of a greenish color, uh, greenish brown. And then when we added it to our very high organic matter mineral soil that has both clays and organic matter in it, it came out almost clear. This is all about the charges that are in the soil. The gravel and the silica flower came out purple. Neither of those, uh, this one has very little surface area and no charge. This one, because it's ground sand, has a lot of surface area, but still no charge. Our loam soil here that has some clay content in it has a negative charge, and so it holds on to things that are opposite in charge and releases things that are in the same charge. And so we see the red dye that came through. It must have the same negative charge as the soil, but the blue dye stayed behind, so it must have an opposite charge of the soil. So the blue must have a positive charge to attract to the negatively charged clay particles and the red must have a negative charge because they don't hold on to each other. Our compost sent through some of its own color and probably a little bit of the yellow how we, or uh, from the compost and a little bit of the blue how we get that greenish cast to it kind of a greenish brown so in this case the compost has the opposite charge of the soil particles, those organic particles, have a positive charge and tend to hold on uh, to the negatively charged red and let the positively charged blue come through. And then our soil that has both positive and negative charges in it because it's got a lot of clay and a good amount of organic matter filters nearly everything out. So that's why soil is a filter. It's about the charges that are present in the soil and those charges determine what happens and whether things will leach or move through the soil and into water, either groundwater uh, or uh, can move through the groundwater to surface waters. Now this soil, we also did that with this soil which in its natural state is kind of bluish or sorry, its natural state is kind of yellow. We also did that with this soil which in its natural state is kind of uh, yellowish and now it has kind of a green cast because the blue from the Kool-Aid stayed on the surface. It's unlikely that any of you could get all of these materials at one together in one place. However, everybody can get gravel, you can get sand, uh, you can get some topsoil and most people can get compost at local uh, garden stores. Once you get the soils and put them in a cup, wash them out so that they're uh, run some plain water through them to clean them up a little bit and then you're going to put holes in the bottom of the cup. I just used an ice pick and you can see that there's 12 holes in the bottom of these styrofoam cups. 
I prefer clear cups down here like solo cups but I didn't have any available today. That'll help you do soil as a filter and give you the information to understand why it works.